In this video, we will address the question of linear ordinary differential equations that are of higher order, in other words, the order will be p strictly greater than 1, and that are scalar, which means the dimension is 1, that the solution y will take its values in R. Now, what we're going to do is consider that ODE, well, that's basically an ODE of order p, uh, and that is the sum for y, for i equals 0 to p of ai and y um, ith derivative, which I will denote with this i in parenthesis. So that is the uh, pth order linear ODE that I will consider. And of course, when I do the zeroth derivative of y, well, that is simply the function y. Now, I will consider, of course, AI real numbers. They can take any value they want, but for AP, which has to be not equal to zero, otherwise the ODE is not of order P. Now, uh, I could decide to set AP equal to one because I can divide all the coefficients by AP, and in this case, just simplify things. So, so that's just uh, what I will do. Now, the initial condition will be specified by uh, the value of yi uh, at zero. And I could uh, actually specify them at any point, but zero, it could, it could also be uh, t naught. Just to simplify things, I will actually consider t naught to be equal to zero. And again, yi is uh, going to be simply y of zero if i is equal to zero. So let me just give you an example because all these this notations can be confusing while there is absolutely no difficulty at all. It's just, a, you know, just, just notation. So let me give you an example for p equal 3. So the equation I will consider is the third derivative of y plus a2 times the second derivative of y plus a1 times the derivative of y plus a0 times y equals 0. Now that is the ODE. And if you want to look at an initial condition, then that will be the uh, specification of y of 0, y prime of 0, and y second of 0. Okay? Now, what we're going to do in this video, uh, we said, you know, we're going to deal with these equations. Actually, we're not. We're not going to deal with this equation. In this video, I will explain to you how to actually uh, transform this equation into the equation that we will deal with in the next video. So, uh, and, and in the next video, we'll actually uh, solve the problem. So, uh, here's the situation. Instead of considering uh, this pth order uh, ODE, I will consider a first order ODE, but in a higher dimensional space. Uh, in other words, instead of being in R, it will be in RP. And let me explain to you how we do this. Instead of considering y, I will consider the vector u, which is y, y prime, its derivative, all the way to y p minus 1 derivative, you know, the, the p minus 1th derivative of y. As you can see, when I do this, then the derivative of vector u is, well, y prime, y second, all the way to the pth derivative of y. Now, if you look at the ODE, then the ODE will be equivalent to u prime equals a matrix times u. And the matrix is here, that will be called the transposed companion matrix to the ordinary differential equation. Uh, it's, it's basically at the very uh, last line, very last line, you get all these coefficients with a negative sign and then you get one uh, above the diagonal. And that, that, that matrix, when you basically do u prime equal au, you can verify that this will give you the ODE. Okay, well, uh, at this point, if it's not clear for you, I suggest you stop the video and you actually carry out the computation. Let me, um, let me actually give you an example. Uh, the example is y second minus 4y prime plus 3y equals 0. So again, y is a function from r to r, scalar, d equals 1. 
And this ODE, which is scalar, D equals one, with a, uh, but, but which is second order, will be replaced by your first order ODE in dimension two. And how you do this? How do you do this? Well, basically, you're going to have U, which will be YY prime. And as you can see, if you carry out the computation here, on, on the first line, you're going to have Y prime equals zero times Y plus one times Y prime. So you're saying Y prime equals Y prime. Well, that's okay. Uh, and the second line is really where you get your, uh, what was the, the ODE, which is Y second is equal to minus three times Y plus four times Y prime. And so you see, you really get your ODE this way. So there is an equivalence between the ODE, uh, which is of second order in dimension one, and that other ODE, which is of first order, but in dimension two. So now that we can transform our ODEs of pth order dimension one into an ODE of first order dimension p, then what we need to do is to deal with first order vectorial ODEs. And that's what we're going to do in the next video.